Hello everyone, Emily here with Challenge 9 of NTNA Season 8. This week we were asked to create game-changing nail art showing change we would like to see using only CND shellac. CND shellac was the game changer in the nail industry. The first to create a 14 plus day color system with no dry time, easy removal, and zero damage to the nails. For the change I would like to see in the world, I chose the overall forms of equality. From equality for the disabled to the LGBTQ plus communities, the unequal workplaces, women's rights, the minorities, there is so much that needs to be changed. I couldn't narrow it down to just one. I chose to do mural style nail art to represent actual murals you'll see in communities that promote change. For mural style nail art, attach five tips together and paint with two coats of cream puff. Painting a solid background gives you a nice even canvas to draw. Also add a matte top coat to remove shine, allowing a pencil to work on the nail. I like to mark out my basic design to give myself a guideline. Sometimes I use this method when I need to have an exact design. I sometimes just go in with paint also if I don't have it planned out ahead of time and the spacing doesn't matter, but in this case it does. So just with your pencil, continue drawing on your design, and if you mess up, just use scrub brush on a cotton tip to erase any lines. I thought when I was planning and drawing this, how much something like this would be fun to paint in my own town. We have multiple murals in my cute little downtown, so maybe this is manifesting it. I created brown using red, green, and orange shellac, adding black pool and cream puff to make different skin colors. Because black and white are so pigmented, a little goes a long way. Add little amounts until you get your desired color. I wanted to be inclusive as possible, so I chose a couple different pride flags to paint on those shirts. Don't forget to cure in between each color to avoid mixing. Besides when you're mixing tie-dye colors, leave the colors uncured so you can get that tie-dyed effect. I also thought it would be fun to hide little details like this here cap and gown. Equality for people who don't want to go to college, but would rather learn a trade. For the background, I wanted to create stone texture as if the mural was on the side of a building. I used two coats of Cityscape before going in with some black and white mixed together and dabbed. The crumpled up plastic gives great texture and can add a fun and easy element to any nail look. Moving on to my people, I started looking at my piece almost as a coloring book now. I was trying to decide if to give them a face or not. My reasoning I didn't is to represent everyone's own identity, and I wanted these three to represent everyone equally so they didn't have their own identities. Start filling in each drawn on guideline. Don't worry about making each line perfect. You will fix that going back in after with a black outline. The thing about a mural is that you want them to be fun, colorful, and creative. You have to have them catch the eye of someone passing by. I've always gone by the rule of three elements. It draws the eye towards it, so that is why I created three different levels to look at. I painted the original pride flag with two extra colors. To help you with time, instead of carrying each line before the next color, try skipping the color and leaving a space all allowing you to add multiple colors all in one cure. Next, add the in-between colors. Also, can we just talk about how wonderful and pigmented CND shellac is? It is the perfect consistency for creating nail art. And no, I am not getting paid to say that. Moving on to a design I added after the fact of me drawing on the whole design, but that's just what happens in the creative process. I know this looks tedious, but I am tracing around all of the stars instead of just filling it in all black and then painting the stars on top. This is the reasoning because black is pigmented and yellow is not, so I want to make sure that I have a nice white background for the yellow to go on top of. Using my fine detailer brush, I am going around all the fingers, sweaters, and t-shirts, making sure I'm constantly dipping back into that black pool, keeping my brush tip thin. I love watching the creative process of artwork even if I'm the one doing it. From start to finish, watching the piece come to life is truly just an artwork form itself. 
And I love to watch where my brain takes me when creating a piece and adding elements that I didn't have in the beginning. To truly make everything come to life, start outlining your elements with Blackpool. Clean up any mistakes using a brush dipped in some scrub fresh. I'm actually moving really slow when drawing around the curve of the nails, making sure that my lines all match up and it doesn't look for deformed from the top. Carefully trace all around your small detail and don't forget this step. The extra effort to add small detail really make a design pop. I finished going around all of my lines making sure I'm not missing any detail. Even though I'm not adding the face to these characters, I wanted to add some elements, so I added glasses, some rosy cheeks, and some lipstick. When I was thinking about doing the lettering for this, I was thinking about doing graffiti. But then I thought murals aren't always graffiti, but rather just bold and bright lettering to get your point across of the message you're trying to spread. Each color has been laid out even longer than normal to thicken up, so I get really nice crisp lines. Once you're done lettering, finish everything off with a matte top coat to really make all of the elements stand out. And here is my finished piece. The change I want to see in the world is equality among all human beings. No matter what color you are, what gender you identify as, and what disability you have, no matter what job you have or what your story is, each person deserves to be treated equal.